averages and it will get your recommendations for the shafts here. So looking at it, you're going to be, yeah, I was obviously expecting it to be a stiff. So the Project X and the KBS Tour. So we're definitely going to start with the Project X. That's definitely one I'd recommend for you. Um, even probably try an extra stiff here as well. Um, so we'll basically we're going to start with the shafts, obviously. Then we'll go to the model, and then obviously we'll start going about lie angle and everything like that as well. Cool. Um, Your miss was a bit of a, it's a bit of a pull. Bit of a pull. Yeah. So obviously averaging out of one seven six, fewer a little bit more one eighty. Yeah. Can I push down a bit? Is that yeah. When happy with those numbers? Yeah. 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 Cool. So these are the older yeah. P seven nineties. These are. So we're going to start with these ones. Cool. Okay. So I mean, what I want to try, I want to try this one, and yeah. then I might come back down to a stiff, but a heavy stiff. Okay. And see how you perform with that as well. I, I definitely expect you to average further with the P790s than obviously a club that you've not been custom fit yeah. as well. Um, starting line, exactly the same. I mean, I'd expect that from the lower handicapper. One thing to notice is your spin's gone down quite a bit. Yeah. It's obviously just going to fly a bit nicer. Um, peak height as well, they seem to come out a lot flatter. That's yeah. obviously to do with the loft as well. Um, do you know the loft of your clubs? I think it, the seven irons. 34, 34 I think yeah. it's either 34 or 35 yeah you struck at the end I'm just looking at that one you've gone yeah five yards further start in line if we look it's exactly where you said you wanted it to be yeah and fading straight behind drawing straight back in sorry um, dispersion is only bigger because again you had that miss there yeah um, but you told me that's your miss so it's better for me to leave that in really because yeah. then I'm fitting you for your bad shots and your good shots. Yeah. Because you're always going to have in a round of 80 some good shots, some bad shots, aren't you? So, how did the shaft feel? Did you like the lightness yeah. of it? Um, yeah, it felt. Yeah, it felt okay. Yeah. It, um, I think I found it a bit tougher to time with it. Yeah. Because it was so light. Because. So you were used to more. Yeah. The, feel. I think yeah, because the transition, I was kind of getting to the top, and it was so light, it was just coming down so yeah. quick. So what is this shaft? So that's similar to this one, um, diamond gold, yeah. stiff, but it's like a heavy stiff. Okay. So it should feel more more like your other irons. Yeah. Should have more control over it because of the weight. Okay. Hey, yeah, I guess I, with the heavier shafts, I don't feel like I have to do as much. I kind of just get to the top. Definitely. And it just helps my timing a little bit. Yeah, I'd say that was probably the best one you fit. Yeah. So it's obviously once once we find a shaft that's really comfortable yeah. for you and you like that, obviously I can just put a head on it and then I'll yeah. start worrying about lie angle and stuff like this and see if anything that yeah help, helps you at all. Yes. So you don't mind that? Yeah. Would you rather that? I'd rather that, yeah. Okay. Bit of a block. Yeah, just straight. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one in then. So even just putting you in a heavier shot, yeah. you've added five yards on. And I'd say that is literally purely strike, Yeah. based off the feeling as well. Yeah. Um, so I'd say we're definitely moving in the right direction there. Well, you had a few here you can see your ball speed it was a good strike but here it's just so much better so much more consistent especially this second one here and you can just tell with the carry distance has drawn a little bit like you said but I mean that's the shot shape you're kind of aiming for the P760 is looking nicer in person I think, they than they do in the pictures this looks a little bit I guess slightly different than I looked before There'll be one club I'll put in your hands and you'll just love the feeling of it, yeah. love the sound of it, just yeah. love everything about it. See, I'm trying to get my head 
in my golf swing at the moment, I'm trying to get my hands and arms lower in the back swing. Okay. My bad one tends to be when I get up here and then I just come across it a little bit. Yeah. And it just starts left going left. Like you said this one here you said was your five which one yeah. do you think you struck the best so that's up by one two nine and then i'd say this one here was the one you struck yeah I think pretty bang on as well yeah yeah i, mean, I can't say i, I noticed a massive difference between the two clubs yeah um, between the old p790s yeah, and, the, and new the new ones um the only thing i would say is maybe feeling I'd say they felt better. Yeah, and do you think do you think a bit softer? Like yeah. when you made contact with the oh yeah, felt a lot softer. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the one thing that I'd say I noticed. Yeah, I'd say I'd one hundred percent agree. Because they put what was it? I think it's I can't remember how much, but it's basically yeah. just put a little bit more tungsten in yeah, into, yeah, yeah. into the head, isn't it? Which yeah, and the face is a bit thinner, seven percent thinner. Yeah, so it give you um, that kind of softer feel to it. P760. So this is the exact same shaft and everything. Yeah. it's just the head. literally exactly the same. Just a head that's different. They do look nice down on the ball, actually. Yeah. Slightly higher ball for like that. I mean, it'd be, again, I guess, interesting to see the lot. Difference. Yeah. I, I tend to have a pretty low yeah. ball flight. Like, if I want to punch one, like, into the wind low or anything, like. Focusing on kind of getting over and keeping your hands low or. Three quarters swing and just keep the hands ahead and turn, yeah. turn the body, really get on top of it. Yeah. That's pretty close to a five. Sam. So I'm definitely thinking the loft is like weaker because you seem to go higher. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, I mean, that last one you struck well. Yeah. And you see it's only carried one before. Yeah. Um, which I mean, which, I mean, distance is never good, is it? Because one thing I hate is when you like and you're on a par three you're playing an approach and you just flush it straight at it and you're like that's a really good shot yeah and it just goes five or ten yards long and yeah. you're like yeah like what? how's that helping? yeah like I'm when it's like, just yeah. got that hot spot right in the middle that if you catch it you know it's going too long i hate that yeah peak height is definitely like also, I mean, I have to say, those four shots are pitched within like a yard. I was about to say as well, you've gone 183, 186, 184, 183. Yeah, I so mean, that's what I'm looking for. Wise, yeah. that, that's bang on, really. Yeah, that is. See, that, really is, consistent that is my worry with P790s, is, is like, just, I just, I just think they're going too far. Yeah. That's a bit better. Yeah, and it's going to be. Oh. I mean that is pretty crazy that distance. So I'm pretty impressed with the uh, grouping of it. And my my worry Ooh, as well is like with the pitching wedge and stuff because like, yeah. I know my pitching wedge currently yeah. is is just a blade. It's like a wedge, so I can just like grip down it, hit like a little knock down. Mm. If I've got like a 130 into wind or 135, and like I don't have to fear it going too long. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think a P790, if I'm hitting that shot, mm -hmm. I can just picture. Even a knockdown shot, just flushing it low, and it yeah. would just go. It just goes. On. Maybe like one fifty. It'd be yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, I mean those those carry figures are absolutely bang on, really. What for this? Yeah, yeah for the sixties, you've gone. Well, everything's inside six yards. Yeah, yeah, so they, they don't look too scary for me down at the bottom. That was nice. Straight away, slide again, that's the flat making it sound. Like start out yeah. a bit further right. See, I, I think that's going to be, yeah. Is I'm that gonna, something you'd like? Yeah, I think I'm going to yeah. need slightly, slightly flat. I don't know how flat, but that's fine. When I was out in Bulgaria, the pro out there, he has his irons flat, and I, I can't remember how flat they were, a degree or two degrees, maybe even three degrees. And I remember hitting these irons. They were just coming out so high and just yeah. slightly further right. And I was just like, I'm loving this. Because <laughs> I just don't feel it going left at all. Yeah. My miss was just a little push right. That's nice. You still get used ball, which is yeah. straight on the line as well. Because, uh, yeah, that's my one worry, I guess, with black light is, is it just going to stay right and then not come back mm -hmm. if I hit yeah. a good shot? But, like, that has actually. 
You can see so clearly the like height dispersion between yeah. the yellows, the reds, and the whites. Mm -hmm. It's all like four or five yards between them. It's quite crazy. That's not a good strike. So sort of gone now. Yeah, it's yeah, it's got there. Ugh. Again, pretty bad. So, I mean, if we can get your miss though. Yeah. To be like that, I mean, I'll be more than that. Yeah, 100. Again, I'll probably leave those in. I know you didn't strike them too well, but I mean, yeah, yeah, it happens, doesn't it? So, but you can see the ones you haven't struck well. First two, last one, all consistently 170. Yeah. So you've only got you're only losing 10 yards yeah, when you yeah. when you're saying you've literally not struck it at all, really. We'll have one more little look over the data, have a little comparison, yeah. then. Basically, we'll just see which one you like the best, really. Okay. And then I'll start messing around with lie angle, see if we go one degree flat, two degree flat. Yeah. See how that works for you as well. Cool. Your, so we started with your clubs. Um, obviously, they were the four that we ended up keeping. You can see one thing that I wanted, you said to me, you wanted to start it just out to the right. So this number here is obviously your start line. You can see you actually started three of them out to the left. Yeah. Which is really what we want, especially when you're playing your draw. You're yeah. You're going to end up way too far left. You can see with some of them here. Or it's just going to end up being a, a straighter shot, which again, yeah. you don't really want. Um, distance as well, you can obviously see we've gained vastly just through all the clubs, really. The only ones, maybe the P730s, Blady, but I think, yeah, they are the weakest lofted. So you're more looking at your accuracy there. Which and we've still gained some yardage. Yeah, it's still definitely three gained yards some. on average. And what I do like is, yeah, this line, it's more where you told me you want it, yeah. where you want your start line. The one thing I'd notice with these is how much lower they came out um, compared to, say, your P760s and your P730s. I mean, we noticed it straight away, how much higher they were going. Yeah, so you can see on the screen there, yellow's P730s, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so yellows is 30s, red was 60s. So yeah, so we went from kind of averaging around here, weren't we? Yeah, went so to that the 60s was about... and it took a step up. Yeah. Went to them and took a massive step up as well. Again, with the P760s, I say that was probably best disc distance control. There were so many that pretty much landed on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a massive fan of the looks of the 760s coming in, I don't think, but they have performed pretty well. Yeah and they do look quite a lot nicer in person, I think, and down at the ball. So, yeah, sure. this will be interesting. So I'm gonna start two degrees flat, then I'm gonna angle him into one degree flat. Get in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'll strike those two with him yesterday. I tell you what, that like once I've struck those two as well, that feel of it is is pretty it's nice. Yeah. Have a few more, and I might pop you into just one degree to see if you prefer the feel. Yeah. Yep. Sign me up. <laughs> so this is one degree flat. Yes. Yeah, so this is going down to one. That wasn't a very good shot. Very distant. Yeah. I think it's going to be really tough to say whether it's one or two. Yeah, it doesn't seem that like there's a major difference. Nah. It's almost like I would maybe recommend two. Yeah. Because then when you are slightly yeah. coming. Well, I guess I'm trying to get my swing more that way. I'm trying yeah. to get it flatter. So it's kind of, I guess that's the way yeah, I'm going. Yeah, it's kind of helpful, more. isn't it? Yeah. That was a little bit toey, but I think it's still going to do okay. I feel like I'm striking it better with two degrees flat, though. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I, I agree, if I'm honest. Yeah. So the reason I'm thinking two degrees flat over one degrees flat yeah. is purely this one here. It's starting left and it's going left. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that's just complete opposite of what we're looking for really you can see i'd say that one there is probably the same sort of swing yeah and it's still starting out right yeah so i mean and then that's obviously how you're drawing it and it's only gone minus two whereas that one all the yeah. way at minus six based off performance yeah the one i suggest to be honest i think i'll just go for a full set of those yeah i think two degrees flat like i said it's it's basically going to help your shot shape 
Yep. Sign me up. <laughs> Yeah! So we like 315.